soul music and R&B. Bring the two together and you've got Neo Soul. This music subgenre of soul combines jazz, funk, and gospel tones. Keeter Massenberg of Motown Records created the name in the 1990s, but three of his artists signed under his record are given the most credit for its foundation. D'Angelo is first to claim success. In 1995, his debut solo album, Brown Sugar, sold over two million copies. The album was said to be unique for D'Angelo's combination of Southern church and jazzy hip hop. Gerald Maxwell Rivera took the stage name Maxwell and recorded his first album, Till the Cops Come Knocking, in 1996. It's considered one of that year's top 10 albums, got a Grammy nominee for Best R&B Album, and went platinum. He has since been nominated for an Alma Award, four BET Awards, and four Soul Train Awards. Now 1997, Erica Badu is known as the first lady of Neo Soul. She incorporated live instruments, African musical beats, and groove beats to her music that dealt with love and relationships. Her first album, Baduism, had three hit singles and was certified triple platinum by the Recording Industry Association of America. A year later, Lauren Hill is making her way to the scene. Starting out as a member of a friend's band called The Fugees, she turned her poetry writing into songs. She released her first solo album after deciding to leave the group in 1998. The Miseducation of Lauren Hill sold 500,000 copies within its first week of being released giving her fame as Best New Artist, along with having Album of the Year. She is still a fan favorite to this day. Neo Soul was quiet for a while during the 2000s, but in 2010, it picked right back up. Popular artists today like Alicia Keys and John Legend keep the genre alive, with artists continually adding new flavors to the diverse genre of music. <laughs> 